Hey Gophers, I'm Mackenzie, your host for Gopher Nation News 11th episode. We have an awesome show for you today. I hope everyone had a great spring break and is ready to rock the last two weeks, two weeks until quad three is over. So the last two weeks of quad three. Let's get started. There's been a ton of changes for sports and school because of the shifting COVID metrics. Sports have finally started and we got a scoop from athletes what it feels like to be playing again for the first time in almost a year. Hi, I'm Courtney, I'm a sophomore. And I'm Rory and I'm a junior. This year has been different compared to other years because we don't have a fan section and we can't like touch the other players so like we can't really give high fives or anything so it's kind of awkward. And also this season is only a month long. My reaction when I heard that we could play again was excited and I didn't really think that we it was actually going to happen. And I was on the fence of playing just because I didn't know if it was going to be worth it but I'm glad I did. I am very grateful that we get to have a season and I'm just trying to make the most of it. And the third question was, what was my reaction to being able to play again this year? And I was very excited. I was really happy to hear that even though our season was gonna be very, very short, at least we get something and it's my junior year and I know I'm pretty pumped about it to at least be playing. So yeah, and that's it. <laughs> How are you liking finally being back playing football again this year? Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I, nobody really thought we were going to have a season, and then we can't, we ended up having a season, but it's a lot shorter than we thought. But, I mean, I'm still happy to get out there and crash some helmets and stuff, you know. How has the team dynamic changed since spending so much time apart? Um, well, I mean, like once we got back into practice and everything, everybody kind of like took their time to like – get back and be like cool with everybody. But now, I mean, after like two or three weeks of being together on the field, full pads or whatever, I feel like we've all got that bond back from last year and when we were playing together, so. How is the season going? Um, we are 0-2 right now, but that should change. I'm hoping that will change and I feel like it will because the teams from day one of practice to now we've progressed like really good. And I feel like we're doing a lot better than we were before. And so once we once we get everything down and get everything locked in, we should be good for our games on Saturdays and come out with a couple of dubs or whatever. You know, it feels great to be out there with my coaches and teammates one last time. Four weeks ago, we didn't know if we are going to get anything. So we're very thankful for that. Five games might not be as much as eight or nine, but it's something, you know. We got to be grateful for what they gave us. I'm going to miss it. It sucks that we didn't get that full season, but it's better than nothing. How does it feel to be competing in cross country again? Uh, it feels nice to compete again, like finally get out, get some running in, uh, to be around people a little bit, which is nice. Uh, competing's always been a huge part of cross country and how you get better, how you track that progress. So it's an amazing feeling to get back to competing. How have cross country meets gone so far for you this season? This season so far, we've only had two. Uh, the first one, it went good and because it was a 3k so it was a lot shorter and then our second meet which is the 5k awful because it's again it's been so long since i ran the 5k and also we have to deal with the masks and the big issue about it is that you breathe so much there's so much built sweat up sweat build up that it just clogs up the mask get it you get stuck in the nose and you can't breathe and it, it's just not the same it it just simply ain't it <laughs> thanks everyone and good luck to all our athletes out there i can't wait until we can actually go to the games and cheer you all on next we wanted to know your feelings about going to school in person with the current hybrid learning system starting april 19th we know some students wanted to stay online and others are looking forward to being in person back in the building. 
My name is Emily Ross. I am a sophomore and I chose to do hybrid in-person learning because I just feel like being in the building will make things feel more normal, like how life was like over a year ago. And seeing some people and seeing some of those friends that I used to see every single day and I just feel like it'll be more motivating to be like in the classroom in person rather than sitting in your room sitting in your bed whatever you're doing on a computer and I'm just ready to get back I'm Claire I'm a junior and I decided to go back to school because I just thought it would be nice to be in person as much as possible. I am excited to return to in-person learning because I want to reunite with my friends and finally see the new Grisham High School building. Next, we have an update with a few clubs that are trying to hold virtual meetings this year. Let's start with Asian Pacific Islander Club. Uh, can you give a general overview of API for people who don't know it yet? Yeah, sure. So what API is just gathering a bunch of people together to learn about Asian Pacific cultures and surrounding the and discussing the current events that are within the community and overall have a building a sense of community with each other. Um, how different is it doing uh, the meeting virtually? Uh, because it's a club that um, depends on building sort of group morale, there's still some sort of disconnect with each other that um, it, it just feels kind of empty when you're not, you're just doing it virtually and not in the same room with everyone else. And um, there's some things that we do in API that from past years, like potlucks, get togethers, volunteer work, just having it with the quarantine and uh, uh, COVID-19, it becomes harder to really do all those fun things that we generally would do with everyone else uh, in person. And with, are you still doing, are you still planning to do it like with school? Now with school be able to come back? Is it gonna change change it all like what you guys do? Um, learning from what I've been told from the Sun office, we're still gonna continue with online uh, with our Google Classroom and just keep things safe. Um, we're gonna continue doing um, uh, online. So there might be some planning when it comes to um, towards May. So we're hoping to plan a sort of get together um, just at least once while social distancing. Thanks, Brody. Thanks, Krasana. Sounds like great work. Now let's hear what Environmentalist Club has been up to. Have you ever wondered what you can do to help the environment without being part of Environmental Club? Here are some tips from our very own Environmental Club members. So, one way you can help the environment without being in the Environmental Club is shopping locally and reducing your use of single-use plastics. A thing that you can do while helping the environment is compost. Right now, currently, it's snowing a lot, so I can't really put it in the soil, but you can use banana peels or anything to, um, you know, get richer soil, I guess, give, to give back to the environment. One way you can help the environment is by using reusable water bottle and utensils. You can help the environment, even if you're not an environmental club, by getting rid of invasive species that you have uh, like Himalayan blackberry and ivy, and then replacing them with native plants. A quick update on our box club. They have been killing it lately and winning all kinds of awards. The Gresham Barlow Science Expo, featuring science and engineering projects from seven schools around Oregon, was held virtually on March 12th. The following students have received awards. Suichi Hayashi for NOAA's taking the polls of the planet award nathaniel gardner and jordan michael for outstanding use of the international system of units Le duong an honorable mention in computer science and robotics and the naval excellence in science and engineering awards jordan michael received award for animal plant science 
Both Lei Duong and Jordan Michael will compete at Oregon State level competition, the Northwest Science Expo, in April. Also, Jordan Michael will compete at the Regron International Science and Engineering Fair in May. Way to go, everyone. We will see you in two weeks. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Ta-ta for now.